Hey, this is uh, for chapter 37. We're on the second uh, subheading, which is, or well, second heading, which is Total War of the World Under Fire. So it's basically all the battles of World War II is which I'll, what I'll be covering. Uh, there's important to note that there's uh, two major theaters or places that the battles will be taking place. One will be in the European theater, and one will be in the Pacific theater. So let's talk about the European theater first. Um, Germany, over and over again, is going to use a tactic called the Blitzkrieg, or Lightning War. So basically what that involves is that involves uh, a very strong air force, uh, the, the Luftwaffe, are going to come in to really soften up targets and really overload them, and then the Panzer or the Armored Tank Divisions are going to come in after them. It's actually similar to a tactic that the United States uses a lot called shock and awe. Uh, different, but, but similar idea. So um, what's going to happen is that they are going to um, rely on speed. Um, and unlike World War One, there isn't going to be a lot of grand declarations of war. Hitler's just going to do what he wants, and he's going to catch a lot of people off balance. For instance, Poland. Uh, no one thought that he was going to attack Poland because they expected the Soviet Union to, uh, to immediately jump in the war, and they don't because the rest of the world doesn't know about the secret non-aggression pact um, signed between Germany and the Soviet Union. So that happens very quickly. Uh, uh, to Germany's east. Uh, they use Blitzkrieg to great effect there. And then they also uh, quickly are going to start using their U-boats to, um, to basically monitor and try to disrupt any uh, supply chains going to Great Britain. That isn't the only thing that ends up happening. So after, the, um, after Germany's eastern, eastern flank is taken care of, they're going to concentrate on the west. And again, there aren't going to be a lot of announcements of what's happening. So what they're going to do is quickly break in uh, from the north. Essentially, they're going to go through uh, Denmark and Norway, and um, they're going to do a battle with uh, Belgium, France, and the Netherlands. So essentially what's going to happen is that they are going to, again, use a lot of uh, lightning war tactics to uh, basically quickly uh, appear that they're going down to the south. So what's going to happen is, is that French, uh, Belgium, and so on and so forth, they're going to try to meet them there. As they're trying to meet there, what will happen is Germany will go like this, whoop, and cut off and cut off those troops. And so uh, it's going to be, unfortunately for France, uh, one of the most um, rapid and significant battles in, in, uh, in the 20th century. Uh, it is a, a moment of triumph. It possibly is Hitler's greatest moment. Uh, he's actually going to use the very same railroad car that the Germans had to give up on World War One. He's going to use that uh, to make France basically sign over the surrender. Um, and so, don't worry, it gets worse. Um, so after he has taken France and basically taken over parts of Western Europe, Britain is essentially standing alone. And so what he's going to try to do is he is going to, again, use the, the Luftwaffe to essentially just try to pound Britain into submission. And this is going to be called, uh, the the British are going to call it the Blitz. And so they're going to have all these uh, air horns and air sirens and just all of these bombings are going to uh, end up happening. Over 40,000 British civilians are going to die because of this. Although the, um, although the Brits are rallied by Winston Churchill and the Royal, uh, Royal Air Force is going to change their tactics. And so uh, that's going to kind of allow Britain to kind of stay independent, although um, Hitler and Nazi forces are essentially going to have taken over uh, Western Europe. And that's the, uh, that's the first subheading.